Hello everybody. God has given me four dreams so far about the VAC. I am going to post two of the dreams in this video and an interpretation that I felt that the Lord gave to me about this very important prophetic dream uh, that I had in September uh, 28th of 2020 and I see it starting to happen and uh, this prophecy it is starting to be uh, fulfilled right now in 2021 and it will be fulfilled hallelujah all glory to god for the bible has to be fulfilled and we are in the very last days jesus christ will soon very soon redeem his followers hallelujah as we see bible prophecies being fulfilled as we see these things happening the bible says rejoice and lift up your heads for your redemption draws near and we shall fear nothing that is happening on the earth instead rejoice and preach the gospel hallelujah to as many people as we can lead people to jesus christ for he's the only way to heaven amen so uh, and i will be careful with the words that i say i mean uh, i will not say every word um but please read uh, um on the pictures of this video i am going to post every word and everything um but i am not going to say certain words because of the censorship that is happening and uh, it deleted one of my videos already about the revelation 13 and about the v that i posted but it is on um rumble.com and also beatshoot.com in the name of jesus i'm going to put in the description of this video my other two um, sites where I am posting also God's messages in the name of Jesus for God's glory as a watchman and watchman woman on the wall in this end times as the Lord reveals to me of what is happening and what is coming um, God speaks to me mostly through dreams visions and sometimes audibly for his glory we all have a purpose on this earth and God has called me to um, to speak his messages to prepare the people the end this end times to edify to encourage and to um, to lead people to his way and to the truth and to Jesus Christ in this end times and all glory to God I am nothing I am a nobody I have nothing and I cannot do anything without God all that I am all that I have is because of God Almighty in the name of Jesus and all glory is his I mean this is not for me it's not about fame and it is not about money it is not about uh, titles it is not about myself it is about God it is about doing his work his mission on this earth for his glory and for the salvation of um, the people in the name of Jesus amen so dream I was in a high rise on a very high floor with my mom and my dog Bella someone else was with us but I did not see who that was my mom started reading something that said something like the river is running in front of the building at that moment I had a large colored print in my hand that showed rushing water flowing in front of a high rise and I showed it to her as we were looking at it the picture turned into a video and we saw cars being washed away and being turned on their side looked like a dam had broke off or something suddenly the high rise where we were started being surrounded by water and the waters were rising we needed to escape that building before it would reach our floor I went down to a certain floor and I looked outside where a door was open to plan an escape by swimming away but the waters were waters were murky and very dangerous with currents then I saw some people running rushing out of the building on their cars I asked them don't you think your car will sink they said no it will stay afloat and I saw them floating away in their cars People were just rushing, like running away, escaping that place because they needed to escape. We all needed to escape as soon as possible. So I grabbed my mom and my dog and we escaped. And we arrived in Mexico. I am not certain why, uh, why I saw Mexico in the dream for I do not know anyone from there. I am not from there and I, you know, and I don't have any. Um, so, but God wanted to show me that and I, I put 
I uh, in the end of this video I I believe I uh, received the interp interpretation and you will see the end of the video about that so uh, I skipped and arrived in Mexico there in Mexico we saw a man that went before us that escaped from the high-rise as well and he was in a long line of a grocery store to buy food we did the same thing could this mean food so shortage is coming then I saw myself back at that hotel and I needed to go back to the room where I was for unknown re unknown reason and the hotel was all destroyed by this calamity workers were there but the stairways elevators floors everything was highly damaged and unable to be used stairs were blocked off and rusty from the waters very dangerous so I started climbing the stairs by holding on to pieces of railings etc then I briefly woke up as I fell back to sleep I had a second dream on the same night my second dream I dreamed that I was at that same hotel which was surrounded by murky waters this time I was with my husband Mark we knew that we needed to get away from that place as soon as possible there were leaders throughout the hotel and we could not allow them to see us escape they were not allowing anyone to escape the leaders were please read because I can't say that my otherwise my channel will be blocked again I went to a certain floor near the exit floor and I found some of our belongings that my husband Mark had left for us to be able to escape things such as emergency emergency items in case we were left homeless or floating in the murky waters inflatable raft and cash as I started to look into the emergency items for our escape one of the leaders approached me he asked me what I was doing and he stayed there with me like on guard to see what I was doing watching me I noticed at that moment that my husband knew that the leader was coming and he, he hid our cash in a ziplock bag near our emergency kit we heard that they were going to take pictures of everyone's VAC it was on the news it was mandatory leaders were everywhere around this hotel they started gathering everyone by force to take them by force to a certain place outside of the hotel to get the V and a photo proving that V people were being taken in chains and being very mistreated and disregarded surrounded by these leaders they were then forced to forced to go through these waters but in chains they were led underwater I said to my husband we need to leave tonight we will be the next group to be forced so my husband and I went to a room in the first floor where a door was open to the outside where we could escape but my husband did not have his personal raft with him and at that moment would not be a good time to leave because the police read in the video were everywhere and there would not be a way to escape so we planned to escape later when he had his raft and then and yeah almost said the word was not around at that moment while we were still in that room planning our escape I heard someone call my name I thought they saw me planning an escape with my raft so I took it off of me and hit the raft under some steps quickly and I went back on the lobby but I did not see who called me there was no one there and then I woke up at that moment I realized and I thought it was God who called my name it was the Lord who called my name and I believe at that moment that it was the time of the rapture after 
all this was happening, going on. That's part of the interpretation. But let me read the interpretation real quick that I received as I prayed about this. What I felt the Holy Spirit showed me was high rise in this dream is symbolic of nation. And I believe it is speaking about United States. Rushing water flooding their place, I believe it means a sudden change, a fast move of, da of darkness, tribulation, persecution. Waters rising means it will continue to get worse, just about as Bible prophecies describe it will be. I don't know why I saw Mexico in my dream, but the fact that I saw a long line of people waiting for food, I believe means food shortage is coming. Not only in the United States, but also in Mexico. And I um, believe it's throughout the world. Later in the dream, I was back at the hotel. And the hotel was all destroyed. Unsafe. Unlivable. And as we I said a few minutes ago, the hotel, I mean, I believe it is this nation. On the second dream, I was back at this same hotel in the United States. And the leaders were not allowing anyone to escape and were um, forcing V on everyone. They were going to take a picture of everyone's V, meaning everyone will need proof with, with picture ID of that V. The nation was surrounded by these leaders, and no one could leave the nation because they were forcing that VAC. By gathering everyone by floors in this dream means that they will do this forced VAC by groups, perhaps by age groups, until everyone will be VAC'd. I suddenly heard someone call my name. I went to see who called me, and there was no one there. Then I woke up. I believe it was the Lord which called my name. I believe he is symbolic of the rapture that will take place around or after the VAC will become mandatory, forced. This prophecy is coming soon. It will happen. Jesus Christ is coming very soon for his bride. We must stay alert, watchful, and ready in Jesus' name. Amen.